Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to prepare your tracks to send out to a professional engineer for mixing or mastering. Check it out. Okay guys, so you want to send your tracks out to another studio or an engineer to have them mix them or master them, uh, or both. And uh, what you need to do is you need to take your raw audio files here and make sure that they all start at the top. You know, they all align. They all have the same start time because you see the bass starts here, the keys start here, vocals start here, and drums start all the way over here. So uh, what we need to do is get those to uh, be all the same. Uh, now... There are several different ways to uh, to send it out to an engineer, um, the, the, you know, all which work. But uh, uh, what they do, what they aren't going to want is they're not going to want all your plug-in settings over here. They're not going to care about your your mix settings or anything like that. If you are working with an engineer that wants all that stuff, they're probably using the same program as you, and they probably have all the same plugins as you. Um, that way, you know, everything just correlates really well. So if I'm working with, I use Cubase or Pro Tools, I send my Cubase project and my audio folder out to that engineer, and we have the same stuff, then no problem, everything works out fine. However, um, nine times out of 10, that's not gonna be how it works. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna have they're not going to have all the same plugins as you or you're not going to have what they have. It's it's just, it's not going to correlate. So the best thing to do is just send the raw audio files. And there's two different ways to do it. One really easy way is to do an OMF file. And Pro Tools, Cubase, Logic, whatever, they all do this. Um, so you just go to Export and uh, click on OMF. And you're going to select all the tracks that you want to send. So I don't need to send a click send us stuff, you know, so, or I could just select all, get rid of this. That way, when they open it up, you know, when you send that, it's one file that you can send to them. Uh, but the problem is, is that uh, none of your file sizes can, like, it can't, it can't be over four gigabytes. So if it's, if it's over four gigs, uh, then, then you can't send it out. So that's a downside to OMF. Um, but if you can, it's great because it's just one file and you just open it up and it'll have everything that they need. It'll line everything up where it needs to be in, in time. So no worries. Uh, so you just select what you want, check all your settings, hit OK. Pretty simple, straightforward. However, if it is you know too big or whatever, um, this is a really great way to do it. The first thing that you want to do is if you have any MIDI files um, and you want them to work with MIDI, you just go to File and Export MIDI File, and any MIDI that is in your project, it'll it'll take all of it and and just do it for you. It's real simple. Uh, however, uh, most likely you want to use the sound that you're already using. In that case, what you need to do is uh, solo that. So here's my, my keyboard part. Um, okay, so it's MIDI, um, but I need it to be an audio file. So what I'm gonna wanna do is, uh, is I'm gonna wanna solo that track and either bounce it down or export it as an audio mix down. But the problem with that is, is that um, you're, I've got plugins on my master fader. Um, the master fader isn't set exactly right. I want it to be like kind of like a raw file. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, in Cubase, this is a really great feature, uh, we can uh, render in place. So if we go to render in place, render settings, um, we can do a dry transfer channel settings. Okay, so it's not going to use any plugins or anything like that on it. Uh, it's just going to do, it's, you know, it's just gonna make it like a raw file. So let's go ahead and render that. Anyway, so while it's doing that, let me tell you about um, organization. Uh, so obviously you need to know where your folder is. Um, here's your session file and your audio folder. 
And as you can see, I've got all these audio files. I don't need to send all of these out to the engineer I want to have it mixed. These are, this, this is ridiculous. So what I wanna do is just get these individual files. So we're gonna label them at some point and be able to find them in here, no problem. Um, so there we go, we've got my, we've got an audio version of this MIDI track. And it's nice, it muted it for me. Um, it's exactly how it should be. So, it shouldn't sound any different. All right, cool. So, then what we want to do is, uh, what we can, well, first of all, we can draw in some MIDI here um, to make this start at the beginning. And that way, when they import the MIDI file, uh, if you're going to export one, then uh, then that that sh that that'll work just fine. So there we go. Um, all right, so we've got a contiguous MIDI file right there. No big deal. Anyways, uh, so what we're going to want to do is record arm all these tracks here. Uh, we won't record on the MIDI. Like we'll just kind of pull that out of the way. Um, and as you can see here, nothing is starting at the very beginning of my song. Um, now, what a lot of people end up doing is, is they'll just solo each track and then go to file, export, mix down. The problem with that is, is then you gotta turn off all the plugins that are on that track, make sure your master fader is set to zero, make sure everything's set to zero. And you know, no big deal. But if you don't wanna have to run through that over and over again, here's a quick way to do it. Um, so we've got all my tracks record armed and uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna record a second of audio. Uh, doesn't matter, just nothing needs to be on it. We're just gonna record a second of audio. All right, here we go. And there you go. Actually didn't need to do that for the click, but whatever. Um, okay, so we can unrecord arm everything. Okay, so now we've got uh, these this right at the beginning. So that's that's just how we want it. So we're gonna select all of these tracks and we're going to what in Pro Tools they call consolidate uh, in other programs and they maybe they call it something different but here in Cubase it's called bounce selection and that's where you're consolidating the files into one contiguous file so you can see there's all these little uh, edits and stuff like here on this bass track, for instance, um, that's gonna turn all of that into one file. It's just gonna turn everything into one file. So let's select everything <clears throat> minus the MIDI. And then we go to audio, bounce selection or consolidate in Pro Tools or whatever. Um, and we're gonna bounce selection. Now it's gonna to ask to replace the events. That's what we wanna do. Now, one thing you wanna make sure of before you do this is probably make a backup of your project um, and then do this. So you've still got you know, uh, the, the original version of it. So let's go ahead and hit replace and let this run through. It's gonna take a little bit. Okay, so now we've got everything starting at the beginning. That's just how we want it. So you can see here all the tracks, they all begin at the very start of my project. So when I import them in, they, they will be aligned perfectly. There won't be any issues at all. So, uh, so what we need to do is just rename these files. Now, you could go in and find these individually and move them. Uh, you know, I could go into... Uh, into that and find it. You know, I can go there and see if I can locate any individual one or whatever. But uh, actually, the quickest way to do it is just to go through and rename everything real quickly. You can do this in Pro Tools in your regions or with your your event audio events in Cubase. Uh, so what we're going to do is just rename everything. And the quickest way to find it is just to name it like O1 Kick. Um, 
O2, sub kick, and so on. Uh, so, okay, so now that every, we got everything labeled, um, now with O1 in front of it, that should show up at the very beginning of my, in my finder window. So if I go to the location, Go to my audio. There they are. So, 01, all those tracks, all the way down here. Okay. And I actually mislabeled something, <laughs> but I labeled it 02. But oh well, no big deal. Anyways, as long as I know that that's what it is. Okay, so a real time saver so that you don't have to run through and do that um, is to go to your regions folder or your regions list or your audio pool window in Cubase. Um, and you can remove unused audio. So, so yeah, that would be a real quick way to just get, get everything kind of out of the way and then you don't have to relabel anything. And when you go to your audio folder, everything will be in there that you need. So you can just drag and drop it, no big deal. So now if I go and I quit this and save it. And uh, so I'll open up a new project and now when I import everything, everything should line up just fine. Let me get rid of all these tracks. Okay. So now when I go to file, import, and we go to that folder, I should be able to select all of these tracks and they should all line up just fine. Hit okay, different tracks instead of one. And boom, everything lines up. And that's pretty much it. So now when the engineer has to, uh, has to mix it for you, everything will be lined up, everything's labeled appropriately. Uh, that's cut and dry, it's pretty simple. That's how that, that works. So now for, if you have your mix the way you want it and you wanna send it out for mastering, um, there's two ways that, you, that, that engineers will want that. Either they want to do a stem mastering or they want to do just a simple uh, stereo master of a stereo mix down. So pretty cut and dry. Most people know how to do an audio mix down. You've got the mix the way you want it. You go to export audio mix down and put it in the format that they want it, you know, you can do 96, 44, one, whatever. And choose your folder, all that stuff. Pretty simple, hit export, good to go. Now, the other way is stem masters. Now, stem masters is usually where they want a stereo mix down of the drums, a stereo mix down of all your guitars, a stereo mix down of all your synths or keys or whatever, a stereo mix down of your vocals, like all of them, backing vocals, doubled vocals, main vocals, just all together. So what you'll do is, is solo the drums, go to file, export audio mix down, and export the drums. Once it's done with that, you solo your bass. Bass, a lot of times they want in mono, so you'll do that in mono. Um, and then you'll do the keys, so on, so forth. Pretty cut and dry. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, so for mastering, obviously, send out a stereo audio mix down or stems of each of your parts, basically. And then for your sending out all your tracks to be mixed, you just wanna make sure that all of these tracks start at the beginning so that when we import them in, everything is aligned, no problem. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe below, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram.
Take it easy.